Now to a follow-up on a local group hoping to get tech in the hands of veterans. You know, it's a partnership that includes the people we've introduced you before with the Limitless Challenge. You may remember they helped people in the adaptive community climb Table Rock last summer. And they, along with the Wyakin Foundation, are working to get new and gently used technology into the hands of wounded veterans. So I want to welcome Ronald, Ron Kern back with us with the Limitless Challenge. He's here to tell us how they're doing with this uh, new challenge that you have set before your Yourself. And also, he brought along Corey Albertson, a veteran who recently received some new technology through this program. So welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for your service. Appreciate it. And Ron, I'm going to let you kind of set the stage here for why, again, why you're doing what you're doing and how Corey's story really fits into all of this. Well, we, you know, we understand that technology is, is critical, whether you're getting back into the workplace or certainly you need some technology to go to college. And what, we're find, what we found is that a lot of of our fantastic military veterans come back after service and they don't have it. Mm. And there's a lot of red tape potentially to get it through other sources. So we wanted to cut through that mm -hmm. and get some technology into their hands so that they can get, you know, get to work, get to school, whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish. So they don't have another obstacle in their way to Correct. that. Corey, you have quite a story. You served for some five years, Black Hawk, uh, Black Hawk helicopter pilot and medically discharged from the Army after those five years. Why is this helpful to you? What's your story? So for me, I guess, coming home from the military to Idaho and getting ready to start, you know, an online program. Um, actually, Wyakin Foundation brought me on board in December, and they actually introduced me to Ron with Limitless. And, you know, from there, Ron basically got me the technology I needed to start my online program and kind of go from there so this is my first semester so he's actually helped me along the whole entire way so wow, I definitely great. appreciate him and you know what Wyken's done so tell us what your program is what, what, what are you gonna try to do with all of this as you go back to school uh, right now just working on my prereqs for either a PA program or a nurse practitioner program mm -hmm. so so serving once again <laughs> yeah that's that's neat and it must just make you feel great Ron to be able to help somebody like Corey get that that start for me, it's individually, you know, it makes me feel good. But what makes me more proud is being able to walk in to his house and provide what he needs. And then not only seeing what a wonderful veteran he has been for our country, but being a wonderful father and, mm -hmm. a, and an outstanding husband that he is, um, it, it's overwhelming. And, uh, and we just hope that people get involved and and help us get uh, technology into more hands. Because you've got a lot of veterans that could use this kind we of help. We have. We how, have do, a, how do people help? What do they do? Well, um, you know, we're hoping that a, a large company out there will say, hey, I want to supply you with X amount of laptops or um, iPads or tablets. We have a lot of computers, but we are seeing some specific requests for tablets and for iPhones or Droid phones, something as simple as that. But we, we're looking for people to help us get this technology so we can get it into hands like Corey and, and they can really start moving forward uh, with what they want to do in the next journey of their life. Well, because anybody that's in college or has, ha has a kiddo in college, which a lot of us do, you know it's not, a, it's not an option. I mean, you have to have the technology to get the education and to move forward. Right. So, Corey, thanks for being here. We should explain Appreciate Corey Albertson. Any relation? <laughs> <laughs> not quite. Not, not quite. quite. Not, not that I know of, anyways. Not, not that I know. But so. you were mentioning earlier that several corporations <clears throat> have already been helpful to you, but you're just looking to really wrap around this and and get more folks involved. Absolutely. We want to we want to have a larger stockpile, if you will. So you know we've disseminated some some computers here locally. We're sending off another one to Georgia, mm. um, and it's just a powerful purpose, and we hope others see the. The benefit. All right, well, we've got a hot link for the Tech for Vets program. It's on our website at ktvb.com. I, I hear people say all the time, you know, they want to be able to thank veterans. Uh, people love to do that. I hope folks come up to you and they realize that, that you've served and, and thank you. But this is a real tangible way to thank our veterans. And so, Ron, thanks for what you're doing. Oh. It's, a, it's a great program. And Corey, thanks for what you're doing. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys stopping by, giving us an update, and we'll continue to let you know about it as the program moves along. I love having you on the show. Thank you. All right, much. Limitless Challenge and the Wyakin Warrior Foundation teaming up for this Tech for Vets, and we've got the hot link at ktvb.com. We'll be right back.